Hi, welcome to the Active Count 100 training video series. This tutorial applies to both the Active Count 100 and Active Count 100H viable samplers from Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions. Today, we will be learning how to enter general instrument settings. To access the settings menu, simply press on the bulleted list icon on the main screen. The settings menu allows you to adjust the date, the time, general options, it allows you to see the instrument status, adjust compressed gas sampling, which we will be covering in a separate video, calibrate the instrument, which is password protected, and access additional information about the instrument. First, we will enter the local date. Enter the current date as specified on the date screen. The date format is year followed by month followed by the day. Enter four digits for the year, two digits for the month, and two digits for the day. We can delete the characters that we just entered by pressing the backspace button. We can cancel out of the screen without saving any changes by pressing the X button or we can enter our changes by pressing the enter key. This will also take us back to the settings menu. Next, we will enter the local time. Always enter the local time in 24 hour format. For example, if your local time is 1 p.m., add 12 hours to that and enter the time as 1300 hours. Enter two digits for the hours, two digits for the minutes, and two digits for the seconds. Again, we can delete the characters that we just typed in by pressing the backspace button. We can cancel out of the screen without saving any changes by pressing the X button. Or we can enter the new time by pressing the enter key. And this will also take us back to the settings menu. Next on the settings menu, we have additional options. The options include the time format, which can be 12 hours or 24 hours, the date format, which can be month, day, or year, day, month, or year, or year, month, and day. We also have adjustments for the speaker volume and the screen brightness. Simply press on the left and right arrows to increase or decrease the speaker volume and screen brightness. To save the changes, we press the check mark button, or to cancel, we press the X button. Let's save these changes and return back to the settings menu. Next, we have the status screen. If at any point you find a flag icon appear on the main screen, you will enter the status screen to find out the reason for the warning. Here we have diagnostics for USB memory calibration, temperature, and battery health. Let's take a look at an example. If I remove the USB flash memory, I will see a flag icon appear on the screen. If you see the flag icon appear on the main screen, go back to the settings menu, click on the status screen, and the status screen will indicate the cause of the warning. Here it says the USB memory is not found. Next, we have the gas sampling adjustment. We will cover compressed gas sampling in a separate video. Next, we have service access. Service access is password protected and is used for instrument calibration. On the bottom of the settings menu, we have an additional button to view instrument information. This information screen includes the model name, serial number, flow rate, calibration dates, and firmware versions. Press OK to return back to the settings menu. This concludes our training video on the settings functions of the Active Count 100 and Active Count 100H from Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions. For more information, visit our website at www. 
www.golighthouse.com. Thank you for watching.